I'm Seth. And I'm Tammy. And we're the Grables. We're getting ready to, we're, um, we're basically cleaning up Seth our house. Seth was stressed out because he thinks we're going to be late leaving. We're always late leaving. We're always late. Because Seth tries to do too much. He's got a doctor's appointment, he wants to do this, he wants to film, he wants to blah, 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 blah. I have to do laundry. Tammy has to and do then, laundry, But the thing She's is, he's stressed out over nothing. What do you mean? He overreacts. Are you are you ready? Are you ready? And, and then lo and behold, he's the one that's not ready, and he's the one that is not taking the shower. And I he's am so ready. Me. <laughs> I was doing all the things to get prepared and get ready. I had to do. You know what I had to do? I had to write emails. I wrote about six emails this morning. Tammy, um, I have to take down your your luggage. What is your luggage even ready to go down yet? Do you see that? He said, I have to take down your luggage. Yeah. But the luggage is still up here. He's acting like he did it already. Exactly. No, I have to take it down. It's not ready to go. You should take it down. You're my husband. You I will take it down. You should be happy to take it down. I'm very happy to take it down, but it's Ladies, not ready you're even meant to, to take go. take down your so luggage. Some of the positives of our relationship um, is we get along and we have a great time. Me and Tammy laugh all the time. We're always constantly doing new adventures, new trials and tribulations, and, and we're a team. And yeah, we, we do a lot of new things. I mean, we're spur of the moment. We go by the seat of our pants. Um, one month we were in Korea, then we came back and we were here a week and then went to Mexico and kind of just living life to the fullest pretty much. Um, we pack in as much as we can do with... Every day. Every single day Even when on we're here an hourly town. basis. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. If whenever we're out, out and about and we meet people or we're at the airport or meeting new people, this is what they always say. Oh, you're a magician, so she must be your assistant. I love that. Why do you love that? I'm just kidding, I don't love that. She's more my manager, she's the business They ignore side. me, they talk to that, ignore me, ignore me, and they're like, oh, and you must be the assistant. She yeah, is the manager, so. she's a smart, she's a brain. She's got this When they brain. sit down and talk with me, they can see that this woman means business. Yeah. But at the same time, I know how to do business, and at the same time, I know how to fun and be, mm -hmm. when we have fun, I can turn it off. I'm actually really good at that, turning that off. Because if I was business all the time at home, you would we Oh, I go that. crazy. And I'm always dragging Tammy into different situations because I, I, I want to do everything I can possibly do in life. And I do too, but I do think you need to rest. Like, no. take one day a month to rest. We don't rest. We don't rest. We pretty much every single day. No we're time something. to rest. The one thing about Seth is that he never knows where he's going. If he's driving, Actually, we will get lost. If he's driving in the neighborhood, he gets lost. <laughs> but the then we have is, to drive half hour all the way back to Vegas. It took an hour. The and then question turn, is, did I get the you there? Did ramp. I get you there? Yeah, but you yell at me that I'm not paying attention to you driving. Well, I, I look at it. Look, I'm the driver and Tammy is the navigator. That I think that she's getting upset. Because so it's he, like, gets all, he gets really... You, you get upset. It makes me upset. I don't get it. Upset. I don't get upset. You think I'm getting upset when I'm not really getting upset, which makes which makes everyone upset. So just don't get upset. So you get frustrated and, and then I absorb that, which okay. I'm not gonna absorb that anymore. No, I'm making a vow right now. She is very... Not she, to absorb. She just gets sensitive. lost. And anyway, so Seth has no sense of direction. Well, and then here's I the thing, he has no sense of direction. So then when I plug it into like the navigator thing in your phone, mm -hmm. and the lady's giving directions, she'll be like, get off at Sahara exit. He'll go, really? I don't think so. <laughs> You know, first of all, you don't know directions, then you argue with the Siri, Google Maps. That's why I need a navigator. I need you to basically say, all right, Seth, make a right. Go but here's it. the thing is, it's, I, when we're going someplace new, yes. But if we're going like to the place we've been to 25 times in the last six months, <sighs> That he like he's been to. I got. I'm you there. Gets, I don't. Did I get you there? Put it did in I the get navigator? you there? I got you there, right? Yes, he gets there. I, it just might take a little while longer, but I get him there. <sighs> we would we would be amazing contestants on Amazing Race because not only are we um, an amazing team. Me and Tammy are basically the yin and the yang, mm -hmm. um, and we get things done. Even though I might be scatterbrained and Tammy's the methodical one, I still am. I get things done, we, we make things well, happen. Well, here's the thing is we make things happen. We're creative and at the end of the day, crazy stuff happens. Tammy reads the map and I go. I take her on my back and we move. We have no clue what we're doing. But we do make it happen really well. <laughs> Every day we have no clue what we're doing. But we do it really well. It always, at the end, works out. So, you know, because of our synergy, because of the way we experience each other. And, but, you know, we you know, also bicker a little bit and we go back and forth. Yeah, but it's our communication at the end of the day that will really bring us to the top. 
and I'm confident that we can win this race. We've traveled all around the world. It doesn't mean that we know where we're going, but we can figure it out. We figure it out. That's the trick. The first time I reacquainted myself with her, I knew I was going to marry her. I knew that she was the right girl for me. And, you know, she, we both have little in, idiosyncrasies that mess with each other, but they're nothing in comparison to our love and uh, the, the what we have for each other. So I love Seth so much. This is the man of my dreams. I seriously am married to my best friend. We wake up every single morning and tell each other how much we love each other. No joke. That is literally every the first single. words out of our mouths. Even if we had a like a like a little argument at night in the morning, we it always happens. wake up and like, oh, I'm so sorry. And then we love each other so much. We do. Yeah, we're we, so blessed. He gets under my skin too a little bit. Yeah, I mean, but we both you know have what? Our moments. I can't I can't complain. I married the man of my dreams. Who yeah. can say that? That's like a small percentage of the world. We're so right lucky. Here. I'm so lucky. I'm so lucky. We both are so lucky. Okay. See? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> I'm Seth. And I'm Tammy. And we're the Grables. <laughs> let's just I'm sure we got it. Let's let's move on.